Hey, it's David with Farmer.com. In this three-part series, we will be going over the use of factory ammunition in this completely custom six millimeter crate bar build. Part one of this series will consist of a breakdown of each component and why it was chosen for this particular rifle. Part two, we will review the ammunition that we shot through this rifle and the test results. And finally, in part three, we'll do our hunt review. So let's get going. Part one, we're gonna be going over each of the components. Now, in this particular rifle, each of the components was chosen from all the manufacturers out there. And the idea and concept behind this rifle came from a discussion at SHOT Show 2020, where I had the opportunity to speak with Dale and Jerry of Stiller Actions out of Garland, Texas. We thought, how would it, what would the results be like if we chose started with a completely custom rifle and we only shot factory ammunition with, through it. What would the results be? Would it be good enough for its intended purpose for varmint hunting, for hunting big game, or for target shooting? We're gonna get into those results in part two of this video series. But for now, I'd like to start by going over each of the components. The first component of this rifle I would like to discuss is the Stiller Predator Action. Now, this action was provided to us from Dale and Jerry over at Stiller Actions. So on behalf of the Varmerter community, we would really like to say thank you. This action is packed with features. So let's start off, it has a threaded bolt knob. The action itself is machined from 416R stainless. It has a Remington 700 footprint, so it's extremely common on stocks and chassis. We have a side bolt release. We have a one piece lapped bolt and the magazine well is actually extended a little bit larger for those hand loaders who wanna load their rounds a little bit long. Next component we have is our Rock Creek barrel. Now this particular barrel is a 5R. It is an eight twist with a Sendero contour. We wanted a good combination of rigidity and accuracy while still being light enough to hunt with. So I feel that this is about a perfect combination of those items. These barrels are hand lapped and they are single cut rifling on Pritt and Whitney, Pritt and Whitney machines. If you have not had an opportunity to shoot a Rock Creek barrel, I, I highly recommend them. They're only one of a few barrel manufacturers that I'll shoot in my rifles. The next component I would like to discuss is this Dixon Andy Dakota trigger. This trigger works on Remington 700 style actions. It is adjustable from one and a half to four and a half pounds. It features a searless design and it is completely weatherproof. This trigger was released at SHOT Show 2020 and we would like to thank Bullet Central for providing us with this trigger on this build. It is extremely crisp, and if you have not had the opportunity to shoot one, I would recommend pick one up. The retail on these triggers comes in at under $200, so it is also an extreme value. The next component we have is this Graybow Ridgeback stock and associated bottom metal. The guys over at Graybow did a fantastic job on this stock. We gave them the creative uh, freedom to come up with whatever pattern they felt was most appropriate for this build. They dipped this particular stock in black multi-cam. That put with the sniper gray on the action and barrel, it really makes this a beautiful rifle. The Ridgeback is packed with features. Starting at the rear, we have an extremely comfortable butt pad. You can adjust your length of pull by adding spacers. We have a QD cup on the left side of the rifle. We have an adjustable comb with easy knob for quick access. Coming up, we have aluminum pillars, which are bedded. We have an integrated bubble level located on the rear of the rifle. So you do not have to come off the gun to ensure that you have no cant. Moving up, you have an integrated M-Lock system. The fore end itself has a cavity running down through it. This is for adding weight if you prefer a heavier rifle. 
The forearm is nice and wide, so for my hand, it fit extremely well. The forend is also flat, so if you prefer to run this with a front rest, you'll be able to. So we would really like to thank the guys at Graybo for supplying this. This is absolutely a beautiful stock. The next component I would like to discuss is our spur mount. This is actually the spur ISMS, which stands for Ideal Scope Mounting System, and it truly is that. This model is the SP4001, which is a 34 millimeter mount. This is machined from one piece of material for perfect concentricity. We, it offers additional accessory holes. So for example, if you wanted to run an RMR or a laser range finder on your optic, you have the ability to do that. And it also features an integrated bubble level. I am extremely pleased with the machining and how well that scope mounting system is made. If you have not had the opportunity to see a spur mount firsthand, I can assure you, you will be impressed with it. The next component we have, which shouldn't be overlooked, are your magazines. This is an accurate mag, AICS style magazine. What else can you say about these magazines? These are the best on the market. If you have, want durability and consistent feeding, you will go with Accurate Mag. They are simply outstanding. The next component I would like to discuss is our bipods. Now, for this project, we actually ran two different bipod setups. We ran the B&T Industries Atlas bipod for our hunt test and we ran an Accutech with Accuracy Solutions Bipod X for our accuracy portion when we were doing our bench test of ammunition. So the first one I would like to discuss is the B&T Industries Bipod. Now this bipod, if, you, if you're familiar with B&T, they're extremely well made. This bipod is made right here in the USA. It features a, an adjustable five position on height it will actually cant the rifle, plus or minus 15 degrees. The footprint of the bipod is 8 to approximately 11 inches, depending on your height. It has five position leg stops. And we would also like to thank B&T Industries for providing this bipod. It was outstanding in our hunt test, and you will see this in more future hunt tests as well. The next component I want to discuss is our other bipod that was used during this testing. As I stated, we used this setup for the accuracy testing portion. Between the Bipod X and the Accutech bipod, it supplied an amazing foundation, very secure for the testing of our ammunition. Let's just move our rifle out of the way. my pointer, move this front and center. The Accutech bipod, this model is the HD50, and it was designed for 50 caliber rifles. It has extremely solid positive locks on the legs. It features nine height positions. It will range between seven to 10 inches. And our base, our foundation is somewhere is between 13 and a half and 14 and a half inches of footprint. This provides an extremely stable platform. The also features an adjustable cant. So once you're behind the gun, you're set up, you can adjust your cant right here. The next component that I want to talk about is truly a unique product product. And for those of you who have not seen these or had an opportunity, this is the Accuracy Solutions LLC Bipod X. And what it does is, as you attach it to your rifle, you extend this out. And what it does is it moves the resting point of your rifle forward, reducing unintentional movement. It, it was outstanding to use. and 
It also is packed with features. Some of these features include the QD system. It is QD, it has QD mounts back here, for rapid deployment, features a bubble level, and when th this is applied to a rifle, even a heavier recoil rifle, and I have tried this both on a 375 Chi Tech and a 338 Lapua, I am able to spot my own shots through those rifles, and I just cannot speak highly enough about it. We would really like to thank the guys at Accuracy Solutions for providing this. It's outstanding. So I highly recommend you check this out. We'll put this away for now. All right, bring our rifle back up. So we've gone over the rifle. We have two components left. This is our Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25 in MRAD. And again, packed with features, outstanding value. Um, we have parallax adjustment, integrated um, illuminated reticle, uh, sunshade, uh, scope caps come with it, uh, magnification throw. This performed flawlessly. We're going to be doing a complete range review of this, so I really don't want to get into this scope yet. I want to wait until we can provide you more information, uh, tall target test, tracking test. So we'll wait just a little bit before we get into this one. All right. The last thing that we have here is our OSS suppressor. This particular model is the HXQD762. Um, I've shot a lot of suppressors, and this it has become my new favorite. And I have to tell you, it, it's just outstanding. I've used this on a many AR-style builds that I have done, uh, bolt-action rifles, and I have to say, it is extremely quiet. Uh, I have little to no point of impact shift depending on which rifle it goes on and their integrated mount system the qd system this brake works extremely well many times you get a brake with a suppressor and yes it's there it technically works but i can say that this brake by itself works extremely well even when i'm unable to run the suppressor i would highly recommend this so in conclusion, these are the components that were hand chosen for this build. We would like to thank all the manufacturers in the event that I missed one for their generous donations in support of this project. Let's get into the accuracy testing video next. Stick around. We would love to hear your thoughts on this project, so please comment below. In the meantime, please subscribe and like this video. For more articles, videos, and information, Visit us on the web at Varmeter.com and at Varmeter Magazine on Instagram and Facebook.